coming at you again with another video today we're going on a little toy hunt we're gonna hit all the Walmarts around my area the EB games Toys R Us and maybe a few thrift stop uh, thrift stores see what they have hidden in a way there that's my first stop corner store grab an energy drink because it could be a long day and some lottery tickets so hopefully the video is not too shaky and uh, We'll be on our way in a second here. Hey guys, back from the store, got my lottery. I know it's really unnecessary for me to mention any of that, but I did. Uh, it's been a long time since I created a video or did anything on YouTube at all. I had a little teaser trailer there I put out last week. I'm really proud of the way that that turned out. Letting you guys all know that I'm still alive that I'm still wanting to make videos, uh, just trying to find the time to do it now. Uh, and the motivation to do it with uh, those changes there on YouTube. But, I'm doing it. We'll going to see how this turns out. This epic toy hunt. Uh, mostly looking for the leader class. The leader class. Uh, siege figures. Uh, War for Cybertron figures. Uh, the Shockwave and Ultra Magnus. I don't care what anyone says, that Ultra Magnus looks pretty pretty sick to, to me anyway. And then uh, that Shockwave, it's good for the Chug collection. I hate saying the word Chug, but it's good for the Generations Classics line there. I think uh, it'll fit in nicely as, as a good sized Shockwave for that. Uh, I don't care about the add-on parts really, um, but, and I don't care about how small Ultra Magnus looks. Um, to me, actually, the other one might be too big. The leader class uh, Ultra Magnus that we got there. So this might uh, fit in a little bit better scale for me-wise anyway. But those are the main things. And also, there are three waves of Marvel Legends that are probably going to hit in Canada here at the same time. So I definitely want to check out uh, the EBs that I, all the EBs that I possibly can, which might be about three of them. So bear with me. There'll be a lot of cuts and takes, and uh, hope you enjoy the ride. All right, guys. First off was a Walmart. Uh, no toys, but I did find these in the electronics area, which were kind of neat. Um, E.T. and the Breakfast Club. They also had uh, Jaws, but they're Blu-rays in the retro VHS style packaging. So they're pretty thick for display purposes. Um, but they're Blu-rays and E.T. was 13 or 14 and Breakfast Club was 11 or 12. And uh, it's kind of cool to have these in the nice little retro VHS uh, sleeves. So that was something that I had just found, and that is all that I found at uh, the first stop Walmart. Next, I think I'm going to try a Goodwill, actually, around the corner here. It's, I've never been to this place, so uh, probably don't expect to find much, but we'll go check it out. Well, I'm in and out of the Goodwill. I've uh, never been to this one before, as I said. So they have these silent auctions that uh, you can get a little bidding number for and put your name down. And they had a Lego lot, a lot of Lego. So I put a bid on that and we'll see if we win that in five days. And I also walked out with this. I don't even know why. I think it's like a, a wine box holder. Holds two bottles of wine or something like that. I like, looks kind of cool. It's got like this map design and some crocodile skin, I believe on the side. Or alligator, whatever. I thought it looked cool. I'm into maps and stuff like that. So, uh, next up will be 
EB Games. We'll have an EB Games and then another Walmart and then Toys R Us. Stay with me. EB Games was a bust. Just checked out that Walmart bust. Uh, there was also a Winners in there bust. Uh, so now we're off to Toys R Us. We'll see. Well, Toys R Us is a bust again. I have trouble leaving a store empty handed and that's not very good for collecting. Um, you buy random crap, which I did do. I bought this Gypsy Avenger. Uh, I like the designs of the Pacific Rim bots, so uh, this is the first ever Pacific Rim figure that I bought, so uh, we'll take a look at that for sure. They're all going on sale, there's a bunch of them there, all different prices. This was actually the cheapest one I think, so, uh, so might as well start with the main bot. But uh, I'm going to head over to another Walmart and another EB right now. Uh, I'm running out of time already. This might be a two-day epic failed toy hunt. This is so sad. Both EB Games and the Walmart bust. What an epic failed toy hunt. So hey guys, I'm back from my toy hunt. It was a complete epic toy hunt fail. I've never had a, a toy hunt like that before. I stopped at 13 different spots, technically 15 if you count the two different comic book shops that I stopped at, but I didn't really show them off because I go there every week and they just have my comics that I normally grab set aside. So. I didn't bother showing those places, um, but this is all I got. You guys saw this weird case. I paid five bucks for it. It's, I think it holds some wine. We got some, we got a lot of wine back there. So, I'll store some wine in this. Whatever it is, I'll do it, I guess. Uh, then I finally made it to Toys R Us. Got my Gypsy Avenger. Maybe I'll review it. Probably not, since it's going on clearance. And if it's going on clearance, then that means nobody wants it. So, not saying that it's a bad figure, but uh, it'll go on my shelf, and that's about it for a little while. And then rotate on out. And then I did make it to the Valley Village, and I did find some comic books. A lot of Gen 13 actual comic books in there. Grifter, there was a Witchblade, uh, a Lady uh, Death swimsuit issue, uh, and you know, where's the other Gen 13 comic? There's another Gen 13. And the only reason I did buy this pack of comics, it was in a sealed bag, so I didn't even know what was, getting, uh, what was coming in it. Uh, it's because there was some Jim Lee art for the Wildcats on the cover of that, and that was the f the top one. So I grabbed this whole bet, this whole lot for ten bucks. Uh, I like Gen Thirteen. I like Jim Lee. So a small win in my eyes. Now I did make it to my Big B comics, and uh, besides the generic weekly comics that they had me, Spider Man, X Men, stuff like that. I got this vintage Ant-Man card. Uh, so the only ones I have are the Black Panther and now Ant-Man. 
So these are the only ones I've seen. I had a chance at Scarlet Spider, Scarlet Spider, but I just missed out. Oh well. Maybe next time. And then this was from my Freak Show comics. I had to buy something. This is Chili Willy. Chili Willy with pancakes. I only collect pops that look like the actual characters. So, like, you know, Ren and Stimpy, Pinky and the Brain, Cat Dog. I'll show you a little quick video of my pop collection. That's about it. That's all I got. Nothing major, nothing fun, nothing great. Hopefully next time, not even a single Transformer. Hopefully next time uh, with the new Siege, Wave 2 is probably hitting fairly soon, and no Marvel Legends. So there's going to be some epic Marvel Legend toy hauls coming. So stick around with me. I hope you and, uh, at least had fun watching me make a ass of myself on this epic toy hunt fail and this is my first video back that's it this is bumblebee85 saying enjoy the play or their lack of <laughs>